Hi, it's Jeff Challen again. So now we've done a little bit of work on our project and maybe you've done more than that. Maybe you've completed the entire lab and you've been committing your work locally, but you haven't uploaded your work to GitHub yet. So all the changes you made to your project are safely stored on your local machine, but if something happened to it or if you wanted to work on this with someone else or show it off to someone, um, you want to get it up on GitHub so that it's safe um, it's a form of backup in a certain way, and it makes your work uh, accessible to others. So let's walk through the process of doing that. In the past, what we've done is we've had you start from GitHub and clone a project and then work on it locally. When you do that, you establish a link between your project and the GitHub repository where it came from. But right now, you don't have that link, and so we have to follow a couple of steps to establish it before we can push our work to GitHub. But it's not very hard. Let me walk through you through the process. First thing to do is to go to your GitHub homepage. Here's mine. Um, and, you know, 16,000 contributions in the last year. Pretty, pretty proud of that. Um, so I'm going to go up here and, and click on New Repository. So I'm going to choose a name for this. Let's call it Lab 3. Uh oh, okay, I've already got a Lab 3. So maybe we'll call it Lab 3 uh, Spring 2018. Um, give it a nice name. And I'm going to let this repository be public. This is totally fine. Uh, we don't have a problem with you sharing the code for this lab. OK, so now you're going to end up at this screen. And what this uh, screen shows you is that there's no uh, code in this repository yet, but it gives you a way to get started. Now I'm going to go back to IntelliJ, and I'm going to go to the VCS tab up here, down to the Git tab. And what I'm going to do here is open up the Remotes menu. And what a Git remote is, is it's a place where I can push and pull changes to my project. And in order to push to GitHub, I need to configure a GitHub remote for my project. So let's do that. So I have no remote set up for this project yet. If you clone a project from GitHub, it will be already configured as a remote for your project. So you don't need to do anything. But remember, we started this project locally and we added Git to it locally without involving GitHub. So we need to... Uh, we need to use, do this step of the process. So the name you can leave as origin, and now it's asking me for a URL. And I'm going to use the HTTPS, this is important URL for this project, copy it to my clipboard, go back here, paste it in, and I'm okay. All right, so now I have um, the remote configured, but I haven't pushed anything yet. I have made a few commits with my, you know, really wonderful changes I made to the project, but let's go through the process of pushing to make sure that that works as we expect. So I'm going to go down here. If I tried to commit now, it wouldn't let me because I don't have any changes to commit, but I go down here to push. So what it's saying here is that it's going to push from my master branch, which I've been working on, to origin. And that's what I want. Origin is the remote that I just configured. Um, these are the changes that are going to be pushed. I've created these files. I've created these files. This project is brand new. And there's ways to sort of compare things up here as well. But let's just uh, push and see what happens. So I initiate the push. I see that the push was successful. And now if I go back to GitHub and refresh the page, here's my code. So here is the code that I've been working on. Here's my code for lab three, some terrible indentation there that I'll have to clean up in a minute. Um, and, and so this is the process. Now, once you have your, um, your remote configured, I don't need to go through that process again. So let's see, you know, I'm going to make some really important changes to my project. And then I'm going to walk through the workflow that we've shown you before on the NPs. So I go to commit. I'm going to put in a missus that says new changes. And I can either commit and then push separately, or in this case, I'll just commit and push all in one go. Um, I'm going to hit OK because those problems are probably not a big deal. I'm going to hit push. I see the pushing menu down here. I see that the push was successful. And when I go over here, I can see that my code has been updated. So this is the workflow for getting a project started, which we did in the previous screencast, and then configuring it so that um, I can uh, use it on GitHub. And once it's on GitHub, I could destroy it um, in IntelliJ, reclone the project from GitHub, and not lose my changes.